All right, this video is on areas of regular polygons. And I start off with a question that says, what is the area of a regular hexagon with side lengths of eight centimeters? And well, you might start to think, is that enough information? And indeed it is. If you remember from a previous year or something like that, maybe you were in math and the arts class, a regular hexagon is made up of equilateral triangles. So I'm going to divide this one up into equilateral triangles. And since it's regular, it has all congruent sides and all congruent angles. And so now the problem becomes, can I find the area of an equilateral triangle with side lengths of eight? So I'm going to sketch out my little that's 8, that's, and it's equilateral, so that's 8, correct? And since it's isosceles, special kind of, uh, excuse me, equilateral, it's a special kind of isosceles triangle, we know that the Euler line goes straight down there, perpendicular to the base, cutting this side in half, giving me 4, and it is a right triangle, one leg is 4, the hypotenuse is 8, and the last side right there, uh, I'll call it A, needs to, is, is what I need to do. So have, I, that's the height of the triangle. If I find that, I can find the area of the triangle. If I find the area of the triangle, I can find the area of the hexagon. So Pythagoras helped us out here. So A squared plus 4 squared equals 8 squared. Remember, if I'm looking for, if I find that A, then I can find the height. There we go. So A squared plus 16 equals 64. A squared equals 64. Subtract 16, and that's going to be 48. And so A exactly is the square root of 48. And we'll just leave it like that for now. Yes, we can simplify. We'll... We'll worry about that later and things, but yes, this is true. And if you uh, know how to simplify, that's probably a good idea. Um, so the exactly, it's, it's 48. And since I'm going to use, and that answer will work, and I will plug it in my calculator. So if the area of one triangle, I'll say one triangle, is going to be equal to base times height divided by 2. The base on this triangle is 8. The height is my A. So that's root 48 and divide it by 2. I can probably simpl I can simplify that. I think that, that you can keep up with me here. That would be 4 root 48, excuse me, 48. And, uh, but that's one triangle. And of course, there are going to be six triangles in the uh, hexagon. So multiply that times 6. Six times that. And this would be uh, 24 root 48. And we want to simplify it. And we'll, and we'll do that in, in the future, and I'll make you do that. We'll go over a lesson in, in simplifying 48. And for tonight's homework or things, like we can approximate that. And if we put it in the calculator, approximating to the nearest hundredth, that would be 166 and 28 uh, centimeters squared, if that indeed was an 8 centimeters in the beginning. Yes, that said 8 centimeters. So I said 8 centimeters, so the answer will be in centimeters squared. So it is, in fact, straightforward enough that we can find the area of a hexagon given nothing more than the length of one side. Well, fantastic. Uh, but you may ask, what about a pentagon? Or a septagon? Or maybe even an inagon where we don't know how many sides it is or it's just, just any sides. So it's got to be something that we can figure out. And of course, we can. Uh, if it was a pentagon, we could divide it up 
just like we did the hexagon, except for you'll see that it doesn't divide up into triangles of all equal sides. Yes, the hexagon is the special one. It's the one that we used when we did our uh, our daisy designs when we're constructing those. It was a special special triangle. So what I would really like to do is make five congruent triangles. So the center of the pentagon of the regular pentagon coming out this way. And if I could find the area of that, and you'll see that, that if I have a regular pentagon, that it indeed would be made up of five congruent triangles. Now these sides, these are isosceles, not equilateral. And to find the area of this one, as far as we know, uh, it would be base times height divided by two. And you're saying, well, right, you didn't give me the height. Well, and in fact, at this point, I do need to give you the height. And that height would run from that center point right there down here right in between, just like the order line that we know. So from the center to uh, perpendicular to that side. And just like before, we'll call that A. And that actually, that height of this regular poly polygon is called something. That's called the apothem. The apothem of a regular polygon is a perpendicular segment from the center of the polygon circumscribed circle to a side of the polygon. You may also refer to the length of the segment as, a, uh, as the apothem. So like circumference, circumference is the drawing and circumference is the length. The apothem is the length of that segment and it also is that segment. So it goes from the center of the circle that would go around perpendicular to the side. There's the apothem. It from the center of the circumscribed circle the center, to perpendicular to a side, like that. There is the apothem. So, uh, if you want, that's the, the length I need to give you. All right, so if I have a pentagon here, uh, yes, I hear that, fine. I have a pentagon and the apothem, we are going to say the apothem is of length um, what would we say? Say the apothem is approximately 6.9, and I'm going to tell you that the side length here is 10. All right? So at this point, it becomes very simplistic, right? Uh, base times height divided by 2, and there are going to be five triangles. Pretty straightforward, right? Five times, what is the base? The base is going to be the side length. That's going to be 10. The height is the apothem. That's going to be your 6.9. And then divided by 2. And in fact, if we multiply that out, uh, that would give us uh, the answer to that. Uh, I'll let you figure that out I, I here. I'll... What is that? I'll put it in my calculator. Let's see. And guys, I tell you what, I don't, I don't know why you, you know, I see these people, you know, you know, refuse to use the fraction button. The fraction button is fantastic. Right there. And that's my fraction. I'm going to want 10 times 6.9, of course, you could have done that by yourself, divided by 2, multiply that, times 5, and it gives you an answer, 172.5. And since we had an approximate apothem, this answer should actually be an approximate also. And I... Uh, didn't include units. I should probably include units. If we say inches here, this would be square inches. Uh, also, we could have put 172 for the symbol for square inches would be square inches. That's a seven. So another shorthand, a little trick, things like that. Okay, so for a septagon, it would be the same thing. Seven triangles, it would be seven times base times height divided by two. And once again, what, what, wait, wait a minute. What is what is the base? Well, the base is nothing more than your side length. The height of your triangle 
is nothing more than your apothem. So that's 7 times S times A divided by 2. But where does 7 come from? Well, that 7 is nothing more than how many sides they have. So if I'm going to ask an inagon, like if n is the number of sides, it would be n times the side length times the apothem divided by 2. And this would be the area of a regular polygon. Now, a couple years ago, we can move these around and it makes it a little bit easier to remember. Because if you move those around a little bit, you can do, you can make the two divided by two. Multiplied is the same thing as one half times all of those things. And if I put them in as far as A, S, N, well, that's an easier uh, way to remember. And we, we did in class one time, and, uh, it's uh, like one half A, S, N is the area of a regular polygon. And, uh, well, we'll just talk, uh, that's one way of helping you remember this. And so I have a conjecture out here. Sorry. Uh, the conjecture of the area of a regular polygon is given by the formula of area equals one half A S N, where A is the apothem, S is the side length, N is the number of sides, and down here in a little parentheses, I said if you multiply the, the length of the side times the number of sides, that'd be perimeter. Well, so you could say the area is also equal to one half the apothem times the perimeter. That would work on any regular polygon, okay? And then finally, what you've all been waiting for, some questions. And right here, I have a pentagon with side length of uh, 107.5 centimeters, an area that's approximately 19,887 and a half square centimeters, and I want to know what the approximate apothem is. Number two, side length is 24 centimeters, apothem is about 24.9, and the area is what? Uh, three, what is the area of the regular dodecagon if the perimeter is approximately 81.6 centimeters? And four, what is the approximate side length of a nonagon with an uh, apothem of nine inches and an area of, of approximately 259 and two-tenths square inches? All right, good luck. See you soon.